Hey, what is good, everyone? You guys know I'm a 99 steel lockdown demigod. I get mad steals on my lockdown 2K24. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you guys can get more steals, the best way to get on-ball steals. I'm going to be honest, I'm not the best with Interceptor. So this is really just how to get those on-ball steals because I feel like I've really got it down pat. But before we get into it, man, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, I would really, really appreciate it. And let's get into the video. But the first thing we want to do is make sure we have our defensive settings right. So you want to go down to controller settings and then you pretty much just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find uh, pro stick defense and you want to make sure it's on absolute okay camera relative is absolutely terrible do not put it on apps camera relative always have it on absolute uh, it'll just mean that whichever side you swipe to is the right side and it's not based on the camera um, and then if you have Hooter God, I always recommend having it on unless you're playing with a really, really sweaty team. I've seen some people on YouTube say, turn it off so you can guard whoever you want. But bro, if you're playing with like randoms or even just not the best of teams, just have it on because then at least you know who like people are supposed to be guarding, okay? It just makes it way easier. Now, defensive assist strength, if you want to play the best possible defense, I recommend having it like 80. But if you want to get the most amount of steals, I recommend turning it down to about a 20. I found was really good. Because when you have it up really high, I notice you get a lot of bump animations. Like you'll kind of just be brought into people and you like clamp people up really hard. But if you bring it down, I find it's way easier. You don't get stuck in animations that bring you out of steals. So um, it's really up to you. Just experiment with that. See which ones you find the best. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but it definitely does make a difference. So now let me be talking about when you should steal. Now this time, is it always in a... A guaranteed steal okay as soon as you bump them if they face up then you want to swipe your right stick to the ball side so as you can see boom I bump him I make him fumble it he does not pass the ball off and he has the ball in his right on on the right side so I swipe my right stick to the right okay whatever side the ball hand the ball is on that's the side you want to swipe to but now you can see this is a rare steel animation in 2k24 but all i do is i'm riding him and then as soon as i see that ball exposed out front i swipe my stick to the left okay because the ball's in the left boom swipe it and i get the steal now you will not get this animation every time no matter how perfect you time it but as you can see as soon as the ball bounces is also when you want to hit that steal button as soon as you see the ball bounce, because with input delay, that'll mean that it's like right in the perfect animation by the time your player actually swipes to get the steal. So as soon as that ball is about to bounce, boom, swipe, and then steal. Okay, that's just like a little lucky bump steal. I can't really talk too much about that. But if you start using the stick now, you get that right stick Reaper Hall of Fame super quickly. And then, yeah, once you get Hall of Fame right stick Reaper, it's GG's, okay, bro? I get so many steals with that badge. It's cooked. But just... Keep spamming, okay? Never give up, okay? And even though the adrenaline thing is like, it lowers your chance of getting steals a lot. If you have a high steal, just keep swiping. You will get steals. Just be persistent with it. If, if, you, if you're not swiping, you won't get steals. So you just have to keep swiping and eventually you'll kind of figure it out for yourself based on your levels of input delay. But as you can see, boom, I bump him a little bit and then I swipe if he's not passing that ball. Another big tip is that you do not want to be moving when you try steal, okay? You can see I stop moving when I'm in front of him and he pauses. And that's why I think bumping works so well because then they can't move, so they're stuck in place. So once you bump them, stop moving, like let go of everything and then just swipe with your right stick. Do not be moving your left stick when you want to get steals. And that goes especially especially when you don't bump them. If they're just dribbling in front of you and you want the steal, then just let go of everything and then hit steal. But either way, man, that's the end of the video. I hope I kind of explained how to steal with the right stick um, a little bit better. As I said, I'm not the best with intercepts, so I can't really speak too much on that. But as you can see from the clips, I still get mad steals. So if you guys enjoy the video, please hit that like and subscribe button. I really, really do appreciate it. You can see once I get right stick reaper, I found I get a lot more steals instead of just poke balls. But I... Uh, yeah, man, like, subscribe, and I'm out. See ya.